Hi everybody, for today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make roast beef with potato wedges, perfect for any special occasion. Roast beef is a traditional English dish of beef which is roasted. It is typically a main meal and any leftover is great for making beef sandwiches. The cooking procedure for this recipe is fast and easy. Let's get started! Good morning, I'm Echo and welcome to Echo's Kitchen! Here are the ingredients. For the steak, 300 grams of flank steak or you can also use sirloin or ribeye for this recipe. 1.5 tablespoons of salt-free steak seasoning, a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, 2 cloves of garlic, rosemary, 2 tablespoons of olive oil, salt and pepper to taste. For the potato wedges, 1 or 2 large potatoes, 1 teaspoon of freshly minced rosemary, a teaspoon of fresh lemon zest, 2 tablespoons of olive oil, and salt and pepper. Place a baking sheet in the oven and preheat it to 280 degrees Celsius. We want the oven real nice and hot. Clean the potatoes and cut them in wedges. When you're done cutting the potatoes, place them onto a baking sheet lined with kitchen paper. Flip and pat them dry using a paper towel. Transfer the potatoes in a bowl. Drizzle them with some olive oil and mix them well. Then, transfer the potatoes onto the hot baking sheet. Pop them in the oven and bake them for 20 minutes. Flip the potatoes to cook the other side for another 15 minutes or until it's perfectly crispy and golden brown. While waiting for the potato wedges, let's prepare the roast beef. Brush the steak with some oil. Sprinkle it with some salt, pepper, and the steak seasoning. Rub the seasoning into the meat. Make sure that the entire outer surface of the meat is well coated. Do this on each side. Grill the steak over high heat for about 3 minutes on each side. Cooking time may vary depending on the thickness and how you like your steak cooked. I like mine medium rare. A medium rare steak has a warm and red center that oozes with beef board flavor. The result is a steak with a perfect amount of tender chewiness. But if you want your steak cooked medium or medium well, you can leave it in the grill a little longer. The last thing you want is a well done roast beef, so keep an eye on your steak or set a timer so that you won't overcook the steak. While the steak is roasting, prepare a large bowl. Drizzle the bowl with some good quality olive oil. Add some salt and pepper. Then place the crushed garlic and rosemary onto it. Drizzle some balsamic vinegar and mix together. When the steak is cooked, place it onto the marinade and let it sit for about 1 minute on each side to soak up all that wonderful flavors. Meanwhile, in a bowl, in goes the chopped rosemary, a little bit of lemon zest, salt and black pepper. Mix it well. Then sprinkle them onto the potato wedges. When you're ready to serve, slice the steak on an angle against the grain. This for me looks perfect. When you're done slicing, transfer them in a serving plate. Arrange the potato wedges and spoon the leftover marinade on top of the roast beef slices.
You can also make some salad and serve it on the side and your main course is ready to serve. Impress your loved one by making this super delicious roast beef with potato wedges for any occasion. That is it you guys, serve it warm with a bottle of bread and if you want, play some Frank Sinatra in the background and as always, enjoy! If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more insightful videos and updates, please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to keep yourself updated with my upcoming videos. If you are on Facebook, please like and follow me at Survivor Echo. Also, I just recently reactivated my Instagram, so if you're on it, you can follow me at Spicy Bicolana and Echo's Kitchen 101. That is it, you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep safe, stay healthy, and always keep a positive mind. I'll see you on Wednesday, same time, same place. Have a great day. Bye.